Now we've got our tables populated and we've got our links done. Let's just have a quick look. Relationships are here. All right, what I'd like to do is actually create a few events so that we can see what's going on. Uh, since the last video, I actually replaced this double primary key with a triple primary key. That means one customer for a particular event, let's say uh, uh, the football, can book three seats. Seat one and seat two and seat three could go to the same person. So let's actually put that in our customer event table. So at the moment customer one has uh, got event one. Ah, oh, now the seat number. I'm going to change this uh, order so the seat is at the end. It makes it a little clear for, clearer for me. Okay, so now customer one could also book seat two. And let's see if that's legal. It is. And for that matter, they could book seat three. Now let's have customer two also book for the same event seat one well, uh, that shouldn't happen because seat one is already booked isn't it so they cannot oh we've got a problem we can't have two people in seat one so we'll have to come back and adjust that later i'm going to actually make that seat four just for the moment and we'll fix up our relationships to make sure that doesn't happen okay that's probably enough um customer two may also go to event two and then they could book seat one because it's a different event all right in fact they could book seat two as well right so we've now got a little bit of material in here what we're going to need is a query so i'm going to go create query i tend to do them from scratch i want my customer I want my customer event and I want my events and because we've linked up our tables our links come straight through here I want the customer ID last name first name let's not worry about the address just yet keep our form nice and clean we want our seat number and we want our event ID the title the date and the time Okay, so I have double clicked on those and you'll see that they have gone down to here. All right, I'm just going to make my properties a little narrower there. All right. Um, now, by the way, if your property sheet's gone, you can get it back again from that button up the top there. All right, let's just run that query and see what we've got. And we've got these situations where George has got four Bruce Springsteen seats. And Chris Columbus has got two seats for Jackson Brown. Okay. Now, let's close that for a minute. Yeah, well, oh, so we'll call that query, Q-R-Y. We are doing customer. We are doing event. And we're doing seat. So I'm going to call it that. All right, now I'm going to create a form on my new query. So create. This time we're going to use form wizard because it does do a lot for us. We're going to do it on that query. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Let's throw everything, all the fields, into our query. You can do it in one go. Next, you'd see, you see it already knows that we've got, we've got to do this as a, a customer and then a whole lot of events per customer. So a form with a sub form. Next, and this layout is good. Uh, and go next as well. Now I'm going to call this customer booking. It's going to be our booking sheet. It's not like a book link, haven't I? Uh, let's try that. And, well, it's not the table, it's a form. F R M. So I'm going to call it this one the same except sub. So this will be the sub report or sub form. And we're going to open and view the information. Okay, so George has got three bookings and they've run a little bit off the page let's move that down uh, we can see our three bookings here and <clears throat> we can move on to Chris Columbus and also Chris Columbus has got 
uh, a booking for Bruce Springsteen and another and two bookings for Jackson Brown. Okay, so that looks like it's working quite well. I'm not sure why I can't scroll to the right and left on this subform, but we'll sort that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go to Design View here, and I'm going to let's suppose you know there's no difference between having five records really and having fifty thousand records. Uh, in either case, I'm going to want to search them. So I'm going to, why can't I get my menu back? I'm going to go to Home. I'm going to go to Design. I'm going to pin that down. I'm going to choose a combo box, which is here, a combo box. And I'm going to put it on the top of my form here. I want this to find a particular record in my form based on what I select. I want to have customer ID, last name, first name. And I want to have that customer ID hidden. So we're going to hide the key column. And we're going to call this CBO because it's combo box. And it's find customer and finish okay i probably should write in here um, delete find customer okay and i might go home i might align that right and i might just drag that back there okay uh, i might have to extend that just a little bit now let's see what it looks like. If I go to my form view, find customer. Here's George. Here's Marilyn. And here's Margaret Thatcher, right? No events for those. Okay, I'm going to need to do a little work on my subform as well. So I'm actually going to close this form and save my changes. Go to my subform, right click, design view. You'll notice that we are looking at it now in a form view. But on our form, it's actually going to run an in data sheet view. So I can look at it like this form view, looks like that. I can look at it like that, and it's running in data sheet view. Now, in fact, in data sheet view, I want to have my event, I want to have my event date, and my event time. Come on, come on, come on, move. And I want to have my seat number. That event ID I can have hanging off the page. So I don't really need it here. We'll just leave it like this for the moment. Okay, I'm going to save that layout. I'm going to go back here to my form view. And really, I want to be able to pick my event. So I actually want this to be... Let's go let's show our properties box. Where's our... Database. Oh, we're in form view. Let's go back to design view. Design view. Ooh, okay, event title. Oops, control Z. Sorry, I just moved that. Now, really, what I want to do is, uh, uh, you know, I'll probably just replace that whole field. I'm going to have another combo box. Combo box. I'll put it here and I'll shift it in a minute. And it's really going to look up to yeah. It's going to look up the values in the event table. Do I want it in my query? Let me just. I think I might look it up in my query. Uh, no, I need to look it up in my table because it's not. So I'm going to go table events, and I want the event ID, and I want the event title. Yeah, I could have the date as well. That'll do. Next, I want to have, let's order by date. And we'll make that descending. And then let's order by title in case there are two events on the same day. Now let's go here. And we've got our, oh, I want to do it ascending, don't I? I want to do ascending so that we've got the first 
and we can do a filter later to say, okay, any event that's already passed, like this one, uh, we don't want that in our list. But we'll leave that for the moment. Let's go next. Remember, no, I want to store that value in this field and it's event ID next. CBO, event, event, finish. All right, so instead of this event ID, I'm going to just throw that over there for a minute. I really want this event ID. And I'm going to have to fix all these up. Now, in, instead of the seat number, which is sitting up there, and I don't want it up there, I want it down here, or I'm going to throw it over here, I want to be able to choose my seat number as well. So I'm going to go here, uh, combo box, and I want to, no I don't, I want to look it up in the table seat. I want to have the seat number, and the position and the ranking. All right, next. I want, let's go sort by position and then by seat number, and then go next. Now, in fact, I want to see my seat numbers here. So, uh, this is a difference because, you know, people, they want to know the actual seat number. And the ranking can go a little bit now. Okay, next. Available fields, yeah. Uh, when you select a row, yes. I want to store it in seat number, yes. That's it. Seat number and store it in seat number. Seat number, next. CBO, seat. Okay, finish. All right, so there's our seat number. In fact, now really, I let's just fix up these. I'm going to call this seat, uh, and I'm going to call this one event. Okay. It doesn't really matter about formatting this form because remember we are going to look at it in data sheet view. So now I should be able to go uh, event. One of these should be a drop down. Hang on, here we go. Event, and I should be able to pick my person. And then uh, over here for seat, yep, I can pick my seat via a drop down. Okay, let's see how we go in our sub form. Let's close that. Yes, and save it. All right, let's go back to our booking form. And uh, let's just go to Marilyn. I'm not gonna have to pin this back up. And an event date. I've got, I've got no scroll bar on here. Just let me fix this in the design view. I'm gonna grab, if I'm gonna move this thing, I have to grab it just there. I'm gonna stick that there. And if I grab this form here, bring it out here. It's a bit rough at this stage, but let's try that again. Save, double click. All right, we can now see the event time and the event. Uh, we, oh yeah, now we've got our scroll bar. Okay, right. We can, uh, seat number. Yeah, I don't want this. Can I delete that column? Let's throw that column down the end here because I don't really want it. I don't want that one. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Marilyn wants to go to a particular event. Here we go. And she can go to Bob Dylan, eh? Oh, doesn't like it. She can't go to Bob Dylan at the moment. And she could have a particular seat number, but that's not working either. So we might just have to, seat number. Okay, so we've got a little bit of work to do and then we'll come back.